Hello, today I learned why we say blowing a raspberry when we do this. <clears throat> well now, what you may not know is that it is rhyming slang. The old phrase would go raspberry tart, which of course rhymes with fart. So really, when you say you're blowing a raspberry, <clears throat> you're blowing a fart, makes sense. While we're here, fart is in fact one of the oldest words in the English language. It goes way, way, way back to the very root of where English came from originally. And because of that, it's found all over the world. People in Swahili language in Africa say fart. Armenians would say fart. In Myanmar, in the Far East, they would say fart. But in Norwegian, they say promp which I really like. Okay, back to rhyming slang. Rhyming slang started in the East End of London, where I'm speaking to you from today, in the 1840s. It's thought it could have started up by Irish immigrants, like myself, or could be just traders trying to talk to each other in a lingo that the customers don't understand. Now, a simple example of rhyming slang is the old one, apples and pears, which means stairs, or Hampstead Heath means teeth. So you talk about your Hampsteads. Now there's a few rhyming slangs we use every day but may not realise it. Have a butcher's means to have a look because butcher's hook rhymes with look. Barnet means your hair because barnet fair rhymes with hair. You might say use your loaf, meaning think about it. It's shortened from use your loaf of bread rhymes with head. Use your head. Now there's quite a rude one. People in England might say, oh that guy's a bit of a burk. And it's thought of as a bit of a harmless word really but actually it comes from berkeley hunt which rhymes with something else entirely other more modern ones have snuck in it's like oh, i don't have a scooby meaning scooby-doo clue a few britneys meaning britney spears beers now there is one that oceans 11 lied to you about barney when you say you're having a barney with someone it means you're having a fight with someone but in oceans 11 they said it comes from barney rubble rhymes with trouble this my friends, is nonsense. Barney meaning a fight was around since the late 1800s, but Barney Rubble, the Flintstones character, only arrived in the 1960s. So that is not true. And that is something I've learned today. I will have another one for you tomorrow. I've got loads more of these videos, by the way, on my YouTube at The Rory John. Thank you very much.